What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts of the Jesse Vargas versus Liam Beefy Smith fight. This fight was the co feature, the co main event over at the Garden for the Amanda Serrano versus Kelly Taylor fight. And holy cow, man, this was a very good fight. Very good fight. The Irish fans, oh my goodness, man, they were there to support Mr. Beefy Smith, man. It was insane. <laughs> oh, man, it was, it, was, it was fun, man. The whole night, it was fun over at the Garden. Uh, whenever a European comes over, specifically, uh, you know, somebody of, from Ireland or uh, from the UK, Holy cow, man! Those are worth buying a ticket for, man. Those event, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say other than it was amazing, well worth the money, and this fight could have easily been a main event anywhere, whether it's the UK or somewhere in the west coast of the US, or you know, it could have been a main event. But it was here, the co-feature, the co-main event, leading up to uh, the big fight between Taylor and Serrano. Uh, I thought Jesse Vargas did well in the first half. He had very good moments. Um, was able to rock uh, Liam Smith with his, you know, with his tight guard going in. Um, and then you could see Vargas just slowing down round after round towards that tenth round. And uh, eventually, he he was just getting hit with too many clean punches round after round. And uh, the the towel was thrown in, was thrown in. I even saw the towel, man, it missed. And I was like, Yo, did somebody throw the towel? Somebody throw the towel? And uh, you know it took a while for the ref um, to to s stop the fight. Um, finally, somebody was telling him to stop the fight. He finally stopped the fight, and uh, I think it was Nonito right in his corner. Because funny thing is, you know, I was obviously I was watching it live in person, and uh, you know my wife is not a big fan of boxing compared to me. So I was telling my wife like, oh, it's Jesse Vargas because she was asking me who Jesse Vargas is. You know, he's currently running for Congress in Nevada. He fought Pacquiao before. He's best friends with Nonito. You know, I was telling that to my wife. And then my uh, my brother, my younger brother, who was also with us at the fight, he was like, oh, look, it's Nonito down there in his corner. And I was like, what? He's here? And next thing you know, I see Nonito and I was like, and then next thing you know, Nonito was in his freaking, was in his coach? <laughs> Oh man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's the coaching situation of uh, Jesse Vargas. I'm sure probably on the zone they said it on the commentary, uh, but uh, man, I don't think Jesse Vargas is gonna f continue fighting. To be honest, uh, after the beating he took into this fight, um, he wasn't even ranked leading up to this fight. I mean, he fought at 154 for this fight. He's not ranked by any of the sanctioning bodies, um, and you know, I, I don't really see him. Uh, beating a lot of these 154 pounders at the moment um so i think jesse vargas is pretty much at, at the at the end of his career and i'm not sure how much how many more fights he has with the zone um but he's definitely getting overpaid i think he he has a, like a guaranteed contract of at least more than a million per fight and um and yeah i think uh i think he might retire to be honest because he's running for congress those who don't know i'm not sure if it's still gonna continue i know he suspended it for this fight but i think it's still gonna continue that he'll still continue to run for congress so anyway uh as for beefy though beefy man like i said earlier the the, the, the irish fans were there for him i was there for him you know I, I i was rooting for him really hard um you know i like i like jesse as well too but i like beefy man beefy beefy proved me wrong last time around so i you know i gotta, <laughs> I gotta root, root for him um but yeah, I thought Beefy, he you know he, he struggled at moments, like I said, in the first half. But in the second half, he started to put on the action, started to be more accurate with the punches, um, started to break down Jesse Vargas. And eventually, he did break him down and got that TKO win. And uh, yeah, it, was, it was just crazy how people you know, were rooting for, for Liam Smith. And people were booing Jesse Vargas. <laughs> Oh man, but but Liam Smith's definitely still one of the the best fighters at 154 right now. Um, he is up during the rankings, currently ranked number ten by the Ring Magazine, uh, number four by the WBO, number four by the WBC, number five by the WBA. Um, big big win for him. Uh, hopefully, it leads to bigger and better fights. Most of the big names right now at 154 are with 
uh, PBC and uh, and Showtime and you know the PBC networks, um, and Castano and Charlo holds the two belts. Uh, they'll be fighting this month. Uh, yeah, this month May, and uh, you know Fundura I think is next in line. You know I, I don't know what's how can Smith fight these guys because I'd love to see Smith in there against the likes of Team Zoo, who oh he's next in line actually for Castano or the WBO champion. You know, there, there's some really good fights out there, but most of these fighters are over in um, PBC. He already fought Korbanov in a close fight over in Russia. They ended up giving it to Korbanov. If that fight was anywhere else, I think Smith probably would have gotten the decision also. Um, that's how close that fight was. So, I don't know. Madrimov is probably another fight they can make, but I think Madrimov is going to be fighting Mikel Soto in a rematch. Um, I think that got recently announced too. I need to make another video about that. So... Who knows what's next for Smith? He might end up fighting La Haraga, you know, in, in Spain, maybe. Who knows? Um, I I just hope he, he gets a big fight, man. I You know, he deserves all this recognition. Uh, he's been in tough fights. Um, it feels like it's been around for a very long time because the Canelo fight, how long was that? It was back in 2016. It was six years ago, and he was only 20-something, 20 27 at the time. And, um, man... Like I said, it feels like it's, he's been around for a long time, but you know, here he is, just 33 years old. Maybe has a couple, couple more years in his prime, and that's when he starts to decline. So, so yeah, um, I just hope he gets a big fight. That's all I hope so. I hope for. So it was a pleasure seeing uh, both fighters uh, for the first time ever, uh, live in person, and uh, it definitely was an enjoyable, very enjoyable fight. So. Um, yeah, and you can tell by my by my, my voice. The main event was insane, though, man. It, it, this was a very good addition to the card, a very good co-feature, but the main event was something else, bro. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.